Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to install Matplotlib in Visual Studio Code on a Mac. If you do not have Visual Studio Code installed yet on your Mac, click on the video in the top right hand corner of your screen now or in the description down below to quickly install Visual Studio Code on your Mac. So let's get right into this tutorial. Let's begin by opening up Visual Studio Code by hitting Command and Space, searching Visual Studio Code and hitting Enter. Now, let's go on our desktop and create a brand new folder that we can use for our Matplotlib project. So I'm just going to call it such. Inside Visual Studio Code, let's open our Matplotlib project. We need a Python file to import our Matplotlib into, right? So let's create a new file through this button here and name it main.py. We call it main because this is going to be our main script. The py indicates that we are using a Python file. Now, let's go up to view and open our terminal window. As you can see, we are indeed inside our newly created folder on our desktop based on this directory here. In order to import libraries inside our folder, we need to first create a Python virtual environment. To accomplish this, let's head down to our terminal and type Python 3.9 or whatever version of Python you're working with dash M V E N V and then the name of your virtual environment, which I will just call study session. Now, if you go back to file explorer on visual studio code, you can see our virtual environment is now here. Next, let's first activate our virtual environment so that our terminal knows that we only want to work within this virtual environment. To do this, we type source and then the activate file that was created with our virtual environment. For us on Macs, this is source, your virtual environment name, bin activate. Now, you can see that we are working within our virtual environment because of the parentheses name here on the left of our terminal line. Let's also update pip. To update pip, let's type pip install dash dash upgrade pip, and we will install the latest version of pip. We do this just in case there are any errors that could occur down the line. To install matplotlib to our virtual environment, let's type pip install matplotlib, and you should see a download begin like so. To validate this, let's write the following sample code to ensure matplotlib is working within our virtual environment correctly. When we hit run, a little graph appears here, which means that it is working correctly. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of how to install Matplotlib into Visual Studio Code on a Mac. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to address your concerns. 